Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I wanted to pop on and talk about PCOS really quick. <sighs> what is this? What Are there different types of it? I've been asked this question recently so I thought I'd do a whole video on it because this can be really, really confusing when you're looking at taking care of an issue like PCOS, working with this and figuring out, okay, how do I manage this? How do I get beyond this? What do I do if I still have trouble reaching certain goals in my life, whether they be weight loss or fertility or performance of some kind? This can be a big struggle area for a lot of women. And this is actually what got me started in the work that I do now. So fascinating because I had ovarian cysts after I had my third kid. I didn't have them before, only after my third was born and I was under a ton of stress. So that led me down the path that I'm on now to working with women. So if you are looking at a way to begin working with me, here is a link that you can click and learn more about how I work with women in a more one-on-one -on -one setting because designing something that's um, specific for you is what's going to help you get through this the fastest, right? If you are lost in the woods, you want the most direct path out of the woods. You don't want to wander around for hours and hours or years and years still struggling. And because I've worked with so many women and because I have such an amazing um, uh, tactic, right? It's, it's, there's so many tools that we use. It's not just one thing, right? When I went in, they were like, oh, here's your Vicodin, here's your birth control. See you later. Huh? What? That, that was it. I was supposed to be on Vicodin and birth control the rest of my life. Like just doped up on Vicodin all day, every day. What? No, no, thank you. Mm -mm. That's not, that's not how I want to live my life. To, uh, no, no, not at all. Not at all. No. <clears throat> so finding a different solution is something that I'm really, really passionate about and helping other women find these solutions for themselves. So again, right there in the comments, you can click that link, learn how to really get different solutions for what you're struggling with. But with different types of PCOS, right? This is something that women get confused at. They're like, well, I went in and I was told I had a cyst, but no one said anything to me about PCOS. So I probably don't have it then, right? Because they should, they would have said something. Not necessarily, right? Oh yeah, I went in and there was just a bunch of cysts, but they were tiny. So that, right? That doesn't count. No, a cyst is a cyst is a cyst. If you have cysts, it doesn't matter how many there are. It doesn't matter how big they are. If you have cysts that are persistent, consistent, come back, do not go away, right? That is different types of, right, types of PCOS. The underlying issues is that you have hormonal imbalance causing these things, but that's really what's happening here, right? You have hormones that are out of balance that cause your body to create these cysts that shouldn't be there. So cysts are the first thing. Again, you can have, you know, multiple, they can be a lot, they can be big, they can be small. So this is what can vary. Um, this can be very different per person. So this is why I write on here beforehand, because when I write really fast, I make it really messy. Oh my God, I made it worse. Different per person, right? Weight gain. This piece is one of the most struggling things for uh, frustrating and things that women struggle with the most. The weight gain piece of it, you can gain weight. It can be in certain areas. And you, the thing about it is that you can't lose it. This is like, I'm eating as clean as possible. This was me. I was eating a pristine diet, pristine diet. No gluten, no dairy, no sugars, no alcohol, no red meat, no artificial anything. And it did not make a difference here at all because it's not about how clean you can eat. It is about what your body is doing internally, right? Having issues with your skin, hair, nails, right? You can have different breakouts. You can have um, hair loss. That's really common. Um, I did a video recently talking about androgens and acne, and it's the same thing. Androgens can be um, something that shift your skin, hair, nails, but also can cause hair loss. Like you can be losing a ton of hair in your head and be like, what's happening? Oh my God, am I okay? I'm in the shower. You're like, oh, what? Yeah, that's not normal, but it can be something from PCOS. Is it a different type of PCOS? Mm -hmm. huh. Right? See, that's the thing is that there's not necessarily different types. It's just different variances of hormone. Are your estrogens really high and your testosterones are, mm, they're high, but they're not a uh, way high, right? It's different person to person. And it almost, <laughs> I don't want to say it doesn't matter, but it does matter, right? Because we, we look for these things and really adjust what your body needs specifically based on the results there. But underlying thing is that just because yours is different than somebody else's doesn't mean that you don't have PCOS. You still have PCOS. 
but the path to take to correct it is going to be a little bit different for you versus somebody else, right? It has to be individualized. Fatigue. This is something where you are going to be exhausted all the time. Doing regular activities are gonna wipe you out. So like you start a load of laundry, you do other things, you, you all get the load of laundry done and then you fold it to put it away and you're like, oh, why am I so tired from doing that? But like, I'm like tired, like my arms are tired from carrying the laundry. What? Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. You're not just fatigued, you are exhausted, like absolutely exhausted from things. And then inflammation. I could talk for days on inflammation. Amy, I have all of these, oh man. Yeah, this is the thing where we don't realize, oh my gosh, all these things are really tied together for this one. Yeah, yeah. And again, just because you might be, well, yeah, I guess I'm tired, but so-and-so that has PCOS, they're way more tired than I am. That's okay, right? They just might have a different type of it or it might be impacting their body differently. It's, it's gonna be different in your system versus somebody else, which is why you need customized recommendations to help you move from the spot you're at right now forward. Yeah. But this inflammation piece, oh, it can cause gut issues, brain fog, right? Skin issues. Um, it can make you feel puffy, achy joints, um, make your muscles, make it hard to recover from workouts. There's so many things that inflammation negatively impacts in your system. So keep that in mind as you're moving forward through this, that like, oh, I, I'm really struggling or why can't I get this taken care of? Inflammation is a huge, huge piece of it. Yay. So that's what I got for you guys today. Please let me know if you have any questions. Other resources I have for you, I have a podcast called The Female Health Solution. My YouTube channel is Dr. Beth Westy. You can subscribe to that to stay updated on everything that I have coming out. And then a couple of books, The Female Fat Solution. This is on Amazon. This is where I talk about eating for your hormones and your cycle, how to change what you eat each week throughout the month to make sure you're nourishing your body to help balance these hormones with food. Mm -hmm. Super fun. And then I do have a book for menopause. So these are on Amazon. Tons and tons of info that I have out there for you to get started on. But again, if you are struggling, if you are frustrated, don't wait any longer. Don't just keep putting up with it. Don't just, you know, well, I really hope this and this. Oh, I, I, well, I added this other supplement. Maybe it'll be better next month. That was me. I, over a year and a half I went, I was taking a basket of supplements. I was eating so clean, but because I didn't get rid of the original imbalanced hormone issue, I continued to have cysts every month that burst. So again, just because your cysts don't burst doesn't mean that you don't have PCOS, right? You can still have cysts. Whether or not they burst is just, it's dependent on a bunch of different factors. So again, what I did specifically for me and what I recommend for women is very similar, but sometimes your body's going to need something a little bit different to really give it that extra edge so you notice and feel those positive benefits. So, whew, all right, that's what I got for you guys today. Oh, love both books. Yay, that's great. All right, that's what I got for you today. Please let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day and I will see you later.